Hello friends. You might not believe it, but a deer caused serious damage to a $2.5 million Bugatti Veyron after a collision. Let's explore these shocking moments. Number one. Oh my God, oh my God. This damage oh my God. estimated at $200,000 due to a moment of surprise on the road. The Jeep was mangled after colliding with the moose. To avoid collisions with moose drivers need to pay special attention to warning signs along the road. Number two. In 2020, the number of deer-related accidents rose to an alarming level with over 104,000 incidents recorded on Pennsylvania's highways. This has made the roads there a major concern for drivers, especially at night. Number three, the driver was probably traveling at around 50 to 60 mph when he hit the small deer. Fortunately, yeah. the driver was not seriously injured in the collision. Oh, shit. If the speed had been 80 mph, the situation would have been much more serious. Number four, the hippopotamus in Gilgal may have been agitated as it tried to defend its territory, leading to the attack on the motorcycle. For safety, people should avoid approaching them when they are near water, as that is a sensitive area for them. Hey, come on. Number five, the car owner was left speechless after being unexpectedly hit by a 600 pound bear. His car purchased in 2021 was left badly damaged and in disrepair after the collision. Two authorities have warned people to travel through the area at 100 mph for the best view. Number six. This image shows the driver driving at a very fast speed. Be a safe driver. Drive safely if you don't want your car to have to be repaired. Number seven. During the winter in Canada, deer often migrate to find shelter, making roads more dangerous for drivers. People should slow down when crossing the road to avoid unexpected collisions with deer. Number eight, a New York family's 1970s era car was destroyed by a bear, despite warnings from nearby residents. The bear ignored the warnings and continued to bite. <laughs> residents are warned not to park their cars near mountainside areas, where bears are known to roam at night. Number nine, the rider of a Ducati Monster 696 motorcycle was involved in a collision with a deer while traveling at 50 mph, making it impossible for him to avoid the impact. Fortunately, the man was safe thanks to wearing a helmet.
Number 10. Don't provoke it if you don't want your expensive supercar to be destroyed by a moose. Don't move the vehicle in this case. Number 11. A shocking incident occurred when a car was traveling on the highway when suddenly a flock of birds flew off course and crashed into the windshield at breakneck speed. The collision took the driver by surprise, so stay tuned for the next developments. Number 12. When the car collided with the fawn, it was thrown away and lay unconscious on the spot. In the moment that lasted only a few seconds, the driver probably did not know what was happening. The lesson is to pay attention to traffic signs to ensure your safety. Number 13. A car suddenly collided with a black bear on the road in British Columbia, Canada, leaving onlookers in shock. The unexpected and tense situation highlights the dangers of encountering wildlife on the road. A strong warning is issued to use caution when driving through areas where animals live. Number 14. The man driving on the side of the road was also affected when the car hit the cow, causing him to be startled and almost lose control. It is unclear how far the cow was thrown from the car, but to avoid similar accidents, Drivers are advised to slow down around animal crossings and remain alert at all times. Number 15. This video estimates the damage caused by monkeys at Longleat Safari Park at around $5,000 with the average cost of damage being around $1,500. A luxury car was severely damaged by monkeys, including breaking the windshield wipers, scratching the paint and damaging the side mirrors. Number 16. A bizarre accident occurred when a giraffe collided with two pickup trucks, creating an unexpected situation. The scene certainly shocked the witnesses, leaving many questions about the cause and development of the incident. Go slow and watch for animals passing by you can stop. Number 17. The rhinoceros probably thought that the car was a rival invading in its territory. With a strong protective instinct, it rushed forward and knocked the car away as if to assert its dominance in this area. You should not stand too close to the rhino to avoid bad things happening. Number 18. Buffaloes usually live in large herds and are very protective of each other.
especially when they feel threatened. It must have felt the car was attacking it. So it hit it hard and dented the car. Always respect a safe distance from wild animals to protect yourself. Number 19. In the collision with the 300 pound bull, the car's license plate was blown off the vehicle due to the force of the impact. The collision caused a temporary traffic disruption as the damaged car lay on the road, forcing other vehicles to take evasive action and slow down. Number 20. The monkey's curiosity made the ice cream truck dirty. That day, no customers bought anything from the truck due to food safety concerns. The total damage from the accident was $24 million in supercar repairs. Comment one if you find this video interesting. Pay attention when going out to avoid unnecessary risks. See you in the next videos. Over the past several years, the Texas government has deployed many strong hunting campaigns Especially in 2021, when 51,215 wild boars were removed from the state. These extreme measures, including helicopter hunting and the use of guns, have helped reduce their infestation. These hunting activities appeared in Texas because the people of Texas faced losses estimated at about 150 million USD. Along with that is 7 million USD for measures to for measures to control and reduce the number of wild boars. According to reports, wild boars have caused major damage at many golf courses in Texas, causing these facilities to spend millions of dollars to repair the damage. One of the famous golf courses in Houston had to spend more than $50,000 just to fix the consequences of wild boars destroying grass and trees. The increase in their NAN numbers and activities has led to many dangerous attacks on people in suburban areas.
In the city of San Antonio, a resident was attacked while walking. In August 2023, there were up to 450 wild boar attacks on humans across the United States. Hey. This has raised great concerns in the community about the safety of people when wild boars attack. Faced with that situation, a group of professional hunters in Texas have perfected their wild boar hunting skills using the most advanced technology. They use trucks equipped with thermal observation and night vision systems to accurately locate wild boars. With modern weapons like SIG MCX guns fitted with thermal sights, they can take down wild boars quickly and effectively. At night, when wild boars are easily detected due to poor vision, groups of hunters in Texas have developed strategies to approach them. Use the simultaneous fire tactic. This is especially important as wild boar numbers are rising, with an estimated 2.6 million of them destroying state property, causing about $400 million a year in damage to infrastructure and people. Hunting wild boars by helicopter has also become a popular and effective method in the steep, dense forest terrain of Texas. With the support of teammates, hunters can track and take down wild boars from the air. This method has helped reduce the number of harmful wild boars, with hundreds being destroyed in just one day of hunting. To participate in wild boar hunting by helicopter, hunters must be at least 18 years old and must have a valid hunting license. In addition, hunters need to have good physical strength with high stamina. Because hunting from a helicopter requires alertness, 
and the ability to maintain balance in a constantly moving environment. The hunter's weight also needs to match the helicopter's safety standards, usually no more than 220 pounds. Compared to Texas, the states of Florida and Mississippi are also facing wild boar problems, but with less damage in numbers. There are an estimated 500,000 animals statewide. These states are trying to learn from Texas measures to control wild boar populations, but performance has not yet reached the same level. Thank you for watching today's video. Please leave your opinion below in the comments section. In your opinion, which method of hunting wild boar is the most effective from the ground by helicopter or, or other methods? May God bless all those who are working tirelessly to protect the environment and communities. Please watch the following video.